So today we are presenting the 2018 syncope guidelines of the European Society of Cardiology. This is the fourth edition, the third one was published in 2001. And I would like to stress some uh, important uh, message, uh, key, key messages. The first for me is that this is, syncope is a multidisciplinary entity and this is represented by the composition of the task force members. More than half are not cardiologists, are neurologists, internal medicine specialists, emergency department, geriatrician, even nursing. So this represents the multidisciplinarity of syncope. The second thing to see is that in the web agenda, we have a lot of information about how to do in the diagnostic process. There's a lot of pictures, uh, videos, uh, charts, a flow chart, and also tracings about how to interpret and how, how to perform diagnostic tests. Another new thing is probably the interpretation of tilt testing. Tilt testing now is considered a test that shows us the hypotensive uh, susceptibility of the patients more than being just a diagnostic test. Another new message important is the use of video recording, mainly performed with smartphones by relatives or by uh, uh, people that is observing the syncope, but this gives information to us in order to make the differential diagnosis between syncope, epilepsy, pseudosyncope. Another key message is the more extensive use of IOR, implantable loop recorders, early in the diagnostic phase, also in patients with suspected non-syncopal T-log, and also in patients with risk of arrhythmic syncope but without indication of ICD. However, a new thing, a new key message, is a new algorithm for treating patients with reflex syncope that includes not only the clinical presentation but also the age of the patients and take all this in account. And also uh, how to indicate pacing in patients with cardioinhibitory reflex syncope in which we consider also the clinical presentation and the, uh, the role of tilt testing in those patients. Finally, let me stress two important things. First, the role of ED, emergency department, in which we give two lists of high and low risk uh, uh, factors and a very strict list of what patients must be admitted or must be uh, uh, discharged from the hospital. And finally, there is a chapter about the syncope units in which we stress what they are, how to set up, how about the structure, the staff member are about the referrals. Thank <laughs> you.